Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Um, I have a little bit of a different video today that I wanted to do, um, and it's I'm working on setting up my sewing business, and the sewing business has a few different um, categories of things that I um, sell, sew and sell, or create and sell. Um, this has a wide range of clothing and also um, dolls and stuffed animals as well. Um, baby items such as blankies and pacifier clips, uh, diaper bags, and a um, lot of different things. Um, but I thought that some of this applied to the site and I know I'm kind of catering a little bit to the AB group that watches my channel. Um, but I wanted to do a little bit of promoting it and to show you some things that um, could be on the site or examples of some things that will be on. Um, I do have two different ones right now and I'm working on melding the two together but right now there is um, the clothing site and then there's the other site. And the other site is called Angel Baby Workshop and I will post the links to everything down below and um, I hope that you really uh, go and take a look at these things and um, recommend it to friends and share links and things like that. Um, first I'm going to um, show you some of the um, things from the Angel Baby Workshop. Um, most of these I'm showing you right this moment are not for sale. Um, some of them are my own special things that um, I fell in love with and I'm not selling at the time. Um, but I have been sewing dolls for probably seven, eight years now. Um, I'm working on some of my own designs, um, things like that. But I wanted to show you first off one of my little guys that is for sale. And um, he is actually posted on Etsy right now. And if you want to go over and take a look at Angel Baby Workshop, um, you can do that and um, take a look at this little guy. Um, but this is... Uh, the one I'm going to show you, his name is Jimmy, um, and he's just a precious little baby boy, and um, here he is. This is Jimmy, and um, he is completely hand-sewn. Um, I did all his little fingers, and his little nose, and his eyes, and also his little mouth. Um, he's had a binky in for a while, so his mouth is a little flat. But um, each animal that I sell actually comes with a magnetic pacifier. And um, that's a really cool thing. Kids love it. Um, pretty much anybody that has one of these loves it. Um, but this is little Jimmy. Uh, he will not come in this outfit. This is just one that I had from another doll. And, um, that, but I uh, needed an outfit to photograph him in. But there's a lot of really cute little features to Jimmy. One of them being is... Oh, you can't see it right now because he does come with a diaper as well. But I'm just going to go ahead and undress him and show you him a little bit, show his unique um, qualities. But his little feet are just darling. And um, each, everything is completely hand done. All the formation of the little toes, everything is hand done. And it does take a while to do these. Um, so if you order one, unless it's one that's already made, it's going to take a couple of weeks to complete. Um, but I'm trying to make these as affordable as possible. Um, yet still make money for the time that I've put into them. But let me go ahead and undress this little guy for you and I'll show him off a little bit. I'm not going to do this for everyone, but he is just so cute. Um, I wasn't going to sell him for a while and then I decided that I would. So this is little Jimmy and he's made out of um, velour suede type thing and he's super soft. His little, his back end is weighted with some glass and acrylic beads. But something that I really love about these dolls is just their little unique features. Um, he's even got like little dimples in his elbows and everything. And there's his little belly button. Now I do not do anatomically correct dolls. Um, that's just something I haven't really gotten into. It is capable, I am capable of doing it, but it's just not something I really want to spend my time doing because it doesn't have to be anatomically correct. You can change up uh, boy or girl anytime you want. But also, they come with um, such unique little wonderful features, and there's that. He's got hand-stitched everything. His little ears, you can see right there. His hair is hand-stitched on. 
Um, and it's just like a faux fur type thing. It's not actually fur, but it's a faux hair um, thing. And he is, he's a really special one. He was one of my first really, really good ones. I've had him for a little while. And um, he's just a sweet little thing. But um, this is Jimmy again. Here he is. And he is up on Etsy for sale right now. You can go ahead and take a look at him. I will post the link to him as well. Um, next two that I have to show you are actually not currently for sale, but items like them can be purchased. And um, this one I'm going to show you right now, he was one of the first ones I ever made um, with this pattern. And he's just got a little special place in my heart. And this is Georgie. Um, he's my little monkey buddy. And he's just, I love him to death. He's so soft and cuddly. Um, they do come in an outfit. Generally, um, it's a t-shirt with a diaper or a onesie type thing. But now let me get him out and I'll show him to you and all his adorable little features. But this is Georgie right here. Georgie right now has lost his binky, so he's not too happy about that. Um, but this is my little guy. I've had him for probably five or six years now. And, um... He's just a special one to my heart. And he also has hand sculpted everything, his mouth, his nose. Every feature has been hand sewn. Um, there's his little monkey feet. And he also has a cute little monkey belly button. Move your hand. Um, as well as the little rear end. And um, I will probably, I'll be posting things on Etsy a lot. Because that's where, you know, um, I can post my pre-made items a lot. Um, and it's easier to sell things there than to get regular um, orders, you know, personal orders in. You can always email me um, with anything that you, any personalizations you want. Um, my email is um, on the site and everything. But this is little Georgie, and he is just a special to me. I love monkeys. They are my collector item. I have a bunch of different ones. But Georgie has been special to me since the day I cut the pattern out for the first time. And he is my little guy. Oh, one thing I want to mention about these is um, with the animals, they have um, two options for facial, facial features. And um, the main difference in that is the eyes. Usually, um, when I first started, I hand embroidered all the eyes, and um, sometimes that can get a little taxing on the wrist. And also, um, it does make each one, you know, completely uniquely different. But I actually personally like doing the actual plastic or acrylic eyes, and it just gives them a whole other level to their personality. Um, and I'll, you know, post some pictures of those as well. The next little guy, um, I made him originally to sell and I fell in love with him and could not part with him. And this is, a uh, one, he's almost, he's a little different than Jimmy, but he is, um, my big kid doll. And, um, he's just precious and I love him to death. And, He's just so cute, but he's not for sale. However, others like him can be purchased or ordered. This is Connor right here. This is my little guy, Connor. And Connor was all dressed up for the 4th of July. This is his favorite outfit. It's his little, his little jeans and everything, and he looks so dapper in it. Um, but Connor is a lot bigger. He is actually more like, I think, 20 to 22 inches, I think. And uh, Jimmy and Charlie are 19. I mean, Jimmy and Georgie are 19. I have another monkey named Charlie. Um, Connor, I'm not necessarily going to undress him a ton, but his his body style is a little different. Um, he's bigger. Um, he's more of the big kid doll, He's so he's got a little more of a sturdy body than the others. Um, I guess I'll do a little undressing of him just to show you a couple of different things. But um, his feet are a little different. You know, he's a big kid, so he has bigger feet. He's got the adorable little knee dimples in there, if you can see them. Um, and he's got his little belly button right there. And, um, you know, he's a lot wider. He fits a bigger size clothing. He's a lot easier for um, somebody to carry around. He's a little sturdier. 
and um, he also has the little bum like all, all my dolls have the little bum um, so long as it's um, the proper animal for it the monkeys and all the dolls come with the belly button and the bum but um, these are just some samples of things that I do sell um, on my website um, one of my other main sellers is um, silky or security blankets and those can be made in so many different sizes. I actually have one that I have slept with for probably, I don't know, five years. Um, I actually had one that I made. It was about almost 25 inches by length and like 20 inches wide. And um, my niece came to visit me when she was a baby and my sister had forgotten her silky. So she ended up using mine while she was to visit and she took, ended up taking it home so I had to adopt a new one which wasn't that fun but I have slept with a blankie all my life and so it's special to me um, mine is monkeys and it's red and brown which are some of my colors that I really like um, I also do some diaper bags um, those aren't as common because you can find such great cute ones in the stores so it's not as profitable um, but yeah, that's my little guy right there. This is my favorite one. Um, I have a couple, one other item that I'm really going to show you, and this is in the clothing type section. Um, but it's just to give you an idea of some of the things I can do with clothing. Um, I am a Pokemon fan, um, especially Pikachu. He is just so adorable. And uh, I just wanted to try out painting um, t-shirts a bit. So this was my first kind of attempt at it. And... Um, so here's your, you just got a basic white t-shirt um, and it can be any color t-shirt that you want and I can, and I uh, just painted the little Pikachu and the Pokemon logo. Um, each arm has a little Pokeball on it. Um, I know they're probably not necessarily the right coloring or whatever but and then this one I um, kind of put a few pictures together and this one is the back is just adorable. My boyfriend loves it. But then there's that on the back with the little Pikachu. And, um, you know, that's just kind of an option of different things I can do. This is all hand sewn or hand painted on, um, working on some different options to get things on the shirt faster. But, um, most of mine will be iron on transfer and such. So, um, that, but that is just an example. I can put any image on any shirt, really. Um, and you know any colors any theme my main focus is to stay with the characters and also the medical condition awareness um, right now I'm working on an idea for an incontinence shirt and I'm hoping to get that um, made up and photographed soon and uh, maybe sometime soon I'll just do like a slideshow video but I will post all the links to all my different sites down below um, in the description. And you guys, please take a look. And if you have any questions or anything, feel free to email me. Um, like I said um, before, I check my Gmail account a lot more often than I check my YouTube account. And um, so if you email me on YouTube, it could be several days before I get back to you. But my Gmail account is more likely to be right you know pretty fast I check that several times a day so that is the best way to get a hold of me so I hope you enjoy this video and the um, little guys I showed you um, and just check out my websites and you all have a wonderful day and thank you so much